Welcome to the Tally Learning Hub. In this session, we will learn how to create and manage multiple go-downs in Tally ERP9. It's quite common for businesses to have inventories at multiple physical locations, such as a warehouse or shops, etc. For some businesses, a physical location can also be bins, racks, cabinets, or anything in which the inventories are stored, tracked, and managed. Let's learn how to create these in Tally ERP9. To enable go-downs, press F11 for features, F2 for inventory features, set maintain multiple go-downs to yes, press Ctrl A to accept the screen, and press escape to come back to the gateway of Tally. Let's say that Max Electronics primarily stores the goods in two locations. One is the store location and the other being the company's warehouse. Before we start creating the go-down, here is a quick tip for you. When we enable the go-down feature, Tally ERP9 by default maintains an internal go-down named main location. And all the existing inventories will be considered under this go-down. We can rename this internal go-down at any time. Let's rename the main location as in-store. For this, press I for inventory info, press D for go-downs, go to alter, enter on main location, press space bar to remove the name, type the name as in-store, press Ctrl A to accept the screen, press escape, press C to create another go-down. Type the name as warehouse, and here is a quick tip for you. You can create multiple individual go-downs or create multiple go-downs in a hierarchy. Let's say the hierarchy for shelves, bins, and even different regions, zones, and so on. For example, you can create Southern region as a parent with warehouse A and warehouse B under it, and Eastern region with warehouse C and warehouse D under it. Enter and select primary. Here, I'm selecting primary because this is an independent go-down. Press Ctrl A to accept the screen. And press Escape to come back to the gateway of Tally. Next, we will learn about how to allocate inventories to go-downs in Purchase and Sales Voucher. We'll start with the Purchase Voucher. Let's say that Max Electronics has purchased 15 Asus 16.6 inch monitors. Out of 15, 10 of them are stored in a warehouse and the remaining 5 in the in-store location we just created. Press V for accounting vouchers. Press F9 for purchase. Type the invoice number and the date of the bill your supplier has given you. Select the supplier's ledger. Here I'll select A1 Electronics. The supplier's details are automatically captured from the ledger. Press Ctrl A in the screen. Select the purchase ledger, press spacebar, and you get the list of stock items that you have created. Select the item you have purchased. In the item allocation screen, select not applicable for tracking numbers and orders. Press spacebar, and you get the list of go-downs that you have created. I'm selecting warehouse. Enter the quantity as 10 and the rate. Again, select not applicable for tracking numbers and orders. Select in store. Enter the quantity as 5 and the rate. Select end of list to accept the screen. Select the tax ledgers as applicable. Enter and accept the voucher. Let's now record a sale. Press F8 for sales. Press F2 to change the date. Select the customer's ledger. I will select Ace Electronics. Mention dispatch and order details if required. Press Ctrl A to accept the screen. Select the sales ledger. Select the stock item. Here I'm selecting Asus 16.6 inch monitor. Select not applicable for tracking numbers and orders. Select the go-down as in-store. Enter the quantity as 2. 
and the rate. Select end of list to move to the next screen. Select the tax ledgers as applicable. Enter and accept the voucher. Next, let's view the go down summary report. Press escape to go back to the gateway of tally. Press D for display. Press E for statements of inventory. Go downs. Select the go down for which you want to view the report. Here I'm selecting primary to see the details of all the go downs. Here you can see the go down wise details along with the closing balance. To view in more detail, press F12 for configuration. Set expand all levels in detailed format to yes. Press Alt F1 for a detailed view. Now you can view the go down wise breakup of stock group come stock item details. You can drill down by pressing enter and use the options available inside the menu bar to get much more detail and insights. So a quick recap of things we learned in this session. Enabling and creating multiple go downs, allocating inventories to go downs in purchase and sales vouchers, and viewing the go down summary report. Thank <laughs> you.